Mo's Garage. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, I finally decided I'm going to get around and making the table for my newly acquired wood and metal lathes. And what we're going to be using is two and a half inch square tube. It's 120 wall or 1 8 thick. It's very similar to my welding table here. Also, I'm going to be using a quarter inch thick plate. The difference is my lathe table is going to be a little bit more narrower and a little bit more shorter, and it's going to be about 35 inches tall. And uh, that's what we're going to do. And uh, as you can see, I've purchased this metal about, oh, I don't know, two or three weeks ago and set it outside of my metal rack. And since then, we've had three or four days of rain and now everything is rusted. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get my flap disc out. I'm going to just take this rust off and uh, we're going to go ahead and measure these things up and get them cut up to the proper length we need so we can get started. So let's do it. All right, so I'm getting started right here. And... Uh, Sanding the rust and the dust off the two and a half inch square tube here and as you can see I'm wearing a respirator and in this case boy I'm glad I did I, I don't usually uh, Go to this extreme, but man, this was a lot of dust and that respirator really made a big difference So went ahead and uh, you know got all four sides of the square tubing before I got started and got everything nice and clean I'm not a guy that likes to paint things. So I just like clean metal once I did that got them over here to my uh, metal cutoff saw and uh Started cutting all the pieces as we need them to length. And I got to say, this is probably one of the best investments I ever made in my shop was this uh, metal cutoff saw. It, uh, I think my initial investment was about $650 for this thing. It's well worth it and makes perfectly good cuts in no time. But uh, anyways, we got everything all done. And I took the pieces over to my welding table where I got my flap disc. And uh, I'm just simply going around. Uh, deburring the edges uh, on all the pieces uh, you know that helps with the uh, the fit up when you go ahead and start making the assembly and uh, once I got everything all cleaned up all the pieces uh, I'm ready to start assembling and here I am with my uh, my new shop table boy this thing's really come in handy you know I was able to roll the lays off temporarily onto another table while I push the plate onto this table and you know like I said I do everything by myself and <laughs> and uh, Every bit of help I can get uh, is uh, much appreciated, that's for sure. But you can see me laying out right here on top. I've got my plate on top of my welding table, and I'm just making my layout marks where I'm going to go ahead and just start assembling things here. And I'm starting by uh, putting the uh, legs up first and the, the braces between them. And once I get everything centered right where I want it and uh, centered on the plate right there, I'm going to go ahead and start tacking things into place here. And it's, uh, it's important during this process, uh, when you're tacking things in, you want to be sure that everything stays nice and square as you're doing it. It's going to help with the fabrication as you uh, get further along in the, in the project. And as you can see, I took my time, got everything nice and square and tacked into place, and uh, everything's working out pretty good. All right, so we're going to put the uh, bottom supports or the bottom half of this uh, table together here and get everything tacked into place, as you can see. And... You know, I, I do everything by myself, and sometimes it's hard to hold things in place. And these little handy uh, mag squares worked out really good uh, holding these, uh, you know, supports into place while I get everything tacked in. You know, I just went around and uh, be sure and got all uh, four pieces uh, nice and even and true and plumb and square and everything else that goes with it. And uh, it worked out really good. And uh, one more last time, checked everything for square before we start this uh, welding procedure and pretty pleased the way things turned out. All right, so I started the welding here and uh, you know, I'm moving along here pretty good. There's just a lot of joints to weld up here. And, and let's see, I'm in terms of the welder, obviously I'm using the Everlast Power iMig 205 and I've got the settings at about 18 and a half volts and 250 on the wire speed and I'm using 30 thousandths wire. Now, every machine is different. Uh, that seems to work the best for my machine. As you can see, everything is turning out really nice, and the welds are pretty clean and pretty comfortable with it. So, now, I'm a, I'm a big guy, so you know the best is to be as comfortable as you can for welding. You can see me. I had to crawl up on top of my welding table and actually straddle the table, the table that I'm making to get the welds all done, but we managed to get it all done. A lot of welding, but uh, hey, it turned out really good. I'm really happy the way it's turned out so far.
Well, I think that's it. Gone all the way around this thing. That was a lot of welding. I'm pretty sure that was the last one. Man, I'm glad that's over. Well, there it is, all welded out. And I gotta say, that was a lot of continuous welding. And the uh, Everlast Power I MIG 205 never even blinked in that continuous welding that I did. That was probably that was probably a good hour and a half of just straight welding. Anyways, it's all complete. And this thing weighs about four or five hundred pounds, so there's no way I'm moving it. So I gotta wait until tomorrow until I get some help, get this thing off the welding table, and get it right side up. And uh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. We'll see you then. Okay, so I finally got some help to get this uh, leg table down and into the position where I want it to be, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I did make a couple of modifications though. I added this support right across the center right here. Uh, I am going to be putting a plywood bottom on it, and I thought it would be easier uh, instead of trying to muscle and cut a, a piece of plywood to fit in there with the legs being cut out like they are, that I just put a support there, cut the plywood in half, and hopefully it'll be able to fit in there nicely with something to rest on. I also, um, once I decided this is exactly where it was going to go, I also anchored it to the ground. So this table isn't going anywhere. So with that said, let's get the ladies on this thing and finish this project up. So before we uh, moved the ladies onto the table, I decided it was a great time to go ahead and cut the plywood for the bottom of this. And I'm just using regular uh, three quarter inch sanded plywood and I'm cutting them into pieces and uh, what I need and notching the corners and uh, that all went really well and uh, once I got all that done we just popped them into place right there and uh, I just pushed them together and I put some uh, self-tapping screws in there after I pre-drilled it and it worked out really good and that's not going anywhere pretty pleased with it now I'm moving the, the lays into position you can see that once again my shop table uh, that I made is really come in handy here and uh, once I got uh, everything onto the table and positioned yeah, I'm really happy the way things turned out with this project. It was a great project Okay, well there it is complete. I got my lathes moved onto the table now I do got a little bit more work to do I am going to properly secure both these lathes to the table and I've got a little bit of switch work to do. Um, This is the switch that controls the, the lathe here uh, cord and I'm gonna make a whole different setup for that so I'm gonna be doing that but other than that I also put a coat of paint on this uh, Atlas uh, metal lathe here and it looks a lot better than it did uh, the belts are still original and I'm gonna keep those they work perfectly fine but hey there it is my lathe table uh, worked out perfect for me the height is just right and remember this can only be used for the lathe table be a welding table, a workshop table, it's really heavy duty. And uh, anyways, it was a great project for me. I'll be looking forward to doing some nice projects with the ladies here in uh, the future. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.